Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing a statement. Sum of square of deviation from mean is minimum. Two things we are going to discuss in this video. First, what is the meaning of the statement and the second thing is the proof of the statement for the raw data. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's start the statement. They are telling me sum. Sum means we know that summation sign. Square means the power 2. Deviation means the distance from me. So what I consider is xi minus x bar. Now they said the sum of square of deviation. So that means it is sum. I need to select the pen. Okay. So sum of what? Square of deviation. So that means they are discussing about this summation summation of xi minus x bar whole square. They are telling me it is minimum. Minimum means what? It is less than or equal to something. Something means what? What it is minimum from? From whom it is less, right? That is a question that student might have. So when the statement is said, in generally they are trying to tell you that if you take any other number in the world, if you take any other number in the world on the place of x bar, for an example, I take the same thing, but this x bar I will replace by something else. If I consider any number, any other number on the place of x bar, then the answer could not be less than what was given to us, right? That is sum of square of deviation from me. Right. So, if you replace this x bar by any other number a, then your answer is going to be greater than. If your a is equal to x bar, then in that case, your answer is equal. Otherwise, the answer is always going to be greater than sum of xi minus x bar square. Okay. I hope the statement is clear. What I said, what they are asking, they are asking you to prove that they are asking you to show that for any a, right, given any a, this should be less than or equal to summation of xi minus a the whole square, right. Now let us just discuss the proof of it. So I just come over here. So what I am having, I should uh, build up my proof. So what I will start with, let, I have a row data x1, x2, dot, 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 xn be any row data with mean when I say mean that means I am meaning arithmetic mean mean x bar for any a real number my claim is what is my claim? My claim is to show that my summation of xi minus x bar, the square, where i is running from 1 to it, since I have n data, would be minimum. That means it is less than equal to summation of xi minus a, the whole square, where i is running from 1 to it. Is it okay? So I need to prove this result now. How you will start thinking of it? You need to prove one thing is greater than the other thing. Right. So, in that case, what we start is we start with what is in my right hand side. So, I start with my right hand side. My right hand side is nothing but I just consider that. Consider my summation of xi minus a the whole square. From now onwards, whenever I write summation, I mean that summation is i running from 1 to n. So, if I don't write it, you should assume I have wrote that i is from 1 to n. Okay. Now, from this summation, I want to reach till this summation. What do you think about this? How can I reach till that? Right. So, what I think, I want xi minus x bar, but I have xi minus a. I want xi minus x bar, right? So, what I do, I just write this summation. It is i running from 1 to n my xi minus x bar and minus a is already there. What I have done is I have wrote this extra. This is extra, right? To balance it, I'll write plus x bar again, right? Whatever was the mean, I subtracted and I added. So it is square. In the next step, what we do? 
in the next step we just i just i'm interested in this much part right so i i just want it to be separated so this is becomes my first term and i want to make this as my second term so i write my summation as xi minus x bar minus a minus x bar so i have one term minus second term the whole square so that is nothing but a minus b the whole square so it is nothing but summation of xi minus x bar square minus 2 times a into b right 2 times a into b plus b square that is nothing but this right what formula i am using i am using the formula of a minus b the whole square is nothing but a square minus 2ab plus b square okay now it is the next step next step is to distribute this summation to all the terms right so i just give summation of xi minus x bar whole square whenever i write summation what i said it is always from 1 to n right so don't forget to write again and again i am telling okay now i just distribute this summation to the second term what i observe is this thing is constant this thing is constant only part which depends on i is this so whatever is the constant i write it outside minus 2 a minus x bar is it fine inside the summation i have xi minus x bar where i is running from 1 to n plus we oh, here this entire thing is constant so i just write it outside a minus x bar square so what is left inside the summation it is 1 right it is multiplied with 1 so summation of 1 where i is going from 1 to n after this comes the important part where students should know some results to prove the later half right i tell this everything was fine okay so let's go further after this my student should know what is this same as so i just write it over here what are the result that student should know i just write we know that whenever you take deviation from mean that is xi minus x bar the sum of deviation of mean the answer for this is always zero right so students should remember this as well the sum of deviation from mean is zero the sum of square of deviation from mean is minimum these are the two important result right okay so we know that the sum of deviation from mean is zero so this term becomes zero what about this summation also my summation of 1 when i is running from 1 to n the answer is going to be n because you are adding 1 n times right so the answer is n so substituting this two result in our last equation what we get summation of xi minus a square i running from 1 to n is equal to summation of xi minus x bar square i running from 1 to n plus the second half is zero second term is zero so i just write the last thing that is n times a minus x bar square is it fine everybody okay till now everything is fine right now i just make a good observation what i see i just want to observe the last thing that i am getting my a minus x bar this could be zero this could be positive this could be negative but if i do square of it the answer is going to be greater than or equal to zero everybody agrees to this right and what i am doing n is what n is some natural number so i multiply this with a natural number since natural number are positive if i multiply sign doesn't change right so this is greater than equal to n times zero since n is a natural number the sign didn't change it remained the same so what is n times zero it is nothing but zero so it is n times a minus x bar square is greater than equal to zero now what i observe is in the last thing that i got i have this but i want this as well so i just add this on both the side so it is summation of x i minus x bar square again i'll write i running from 1 to n plus n a minus x bar square is greater than equal to what i have done i have added 
I have added this on both the sides. So I just write it over here as well. To balance it is xi minus x bar square i running from 1 to m plus 0. Let's come to the last part and the last conclusion. What I observe on my left hand side is actually this which is same as this right. So my left hand side can be written as summation of xi minus a square i running from 1 to m is greater than equal to what is this my right hand side that is nothing but summation of i running from 1 to n xi minus x bar square right so this is nothing but what was required so what we observe is the sum of square of deviation from mean is always minimum okay i hope you understood the proof as well as meaning of the statement is it so then please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and like the video Okay, bye-bye.